Hey, 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 hey. This is a pretty funny story of, of me in Korea <laughs> when I was a soldier. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm in a specialized team, right? Uh, there's about three of us. Uh, we work for a colonel, and really our job were a combat observation lasing team. So we would plan targets, you know, uh, like uh, we would um, go along the DMV and then we'd uh, look over the other side, use maps, and then we'd plan targets for like, um, if they decide to come across a, a flat space, uh, you know, it would be called like target alpha. So those go into the battle plan cans for uh for other companies, that way in case the war ever broke out, they could just bust out the plans and be like, call, call for fire, battle plan alpha. And, you know, all of it would be laid in, uh, ready to go. So, you know, it was a, it was a crazy job, that's for sure. But check this out. Okay. Now you got you gotta remember I'm like the worst soldier ever. <laughs> I'm I'm like uh, two times a sad sack. So they, you know they're always trying to put me on details or crazy stuff because I I've, I've been a E4 more more than anybody else and it's the rank below a sergeant. So you know uh, I've I've been E4 for like eight years. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, so what? Uh, oh man! <laughs> yes. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, oh, you bastard. You bastard brain. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have any friends like that? They'll just be talking and then forget what they're talking about. <laughs> I think it was funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, right now I remember what I was going to talk about. So, you know, I'm a forward observer, so I'm the guy that sits up in the hill and calls in the artillery or the air or naval or ride with the tanks, and I pick out the targets and tell everybody where to fire, basically. And then when they fire, you know, their <clears throat> artillery rounds or missiles or what, laser-guided rounds or whatever, I tell them, hit or, like, it's kind of like Battleship now that I think about it. So, you know, like, okay, if you hit a, there's a target and you call it in and it's 400 meters above, you would just bracket it down to 200 then you would call for fire 150, and then you'd be like, fire for effect, bam! They'd fire all of them on that one target. Um, so, uh, no, I forgot what I was going to talk about. Hey, you ever seen a face in the moon? Okay. Oh, I got the thought back. So, okay, what happened is they send me, the sad sack, the worst guy in the army, probably the whole army, with a battalion of Korean soldiers. Oh, and so check this out. Oh, get in the helicopters. What the fuck? And they fly us into rice paddies, right? I mean, this is Vietnam. This is this is like the eighties. And so me being gung ho, I I jump off the helicopter and run into the rice paddy. And then I turn around, 
all the Koreans are running on top of me. <laughs> I'm, I'm up to my knees in mud. So, ah, so fuck. Um, they didn't even tell me I was going like in a battle. You know, this is a simulated battle. It's called Team Spirit. They did it every summer. <laughs> but, you know, I'm the only American <laughs> forward observer. What the hell? <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, finally, we, we, we're we always walking, man. Sometimes 10, 15, 20 miles a day with a big-ass backpack. But I'm like on a day trip because, hey, you know, they didn't tell me, hey, you're going to spend the night with... <laughs> 400 Korean soldiers. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have no water, so they take my water bottles up to uh, a temple and fill them up with holy water. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, I got this shit after drinking this. <laughs> and so, I don't even have a tent. I don't have nothing because, you know, I uh, I don't know, but, you know, hey, especially sponsor, go there. <laughs> okay, do, 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 I'm a soldier. So I wind up, it's nighttime, and so I'm sleeping <laughs> in a tent. It's like a little pup tent for two people. <laughs> there's, there's, there's five cur <laughs> There's five of us in this little too bad tent. Oh, fuck. And I got to have my M16 next to me because, you know, that's my lady. <laughs> she don't piss her off. So, and then because I'm a forward observer, I got to hump the damn radio, you know, a prick radio. That's what they call it, a prick. So, all night long, <laughs> I'm like at the very corner of the tent, and all night long, oh shit, I got the microphone <laughs> right over my face, and the mi it's attached to the edge of the tent, and the microphone is like an old telephone handpiece, so it has a speaker, and, and, and you know, you can talk into it, it has a press button on the side, so all night, I'm like, just making noises and like every hour I'd be like, hey, radio check. Oh, fuck. And then what happened is, so the next day, right? <clears throat> now remember, this is just a simulated game, uh, uh, military exercise, you know, it's not real. It's not real at all. And so uh, we're up on the side of a mountain and the simulated North Koreans are a coming out assaulting us <laughs> and dude the south koreans have a have a like a motto like we don't surrender and they all start slapping on bayonets <laughs> big ass big ass foot long two foot long bayonets <laughs> like holy holy shit <laughs> oh fuck oh, oh. <laughs> I'm on the radio like an idiot, <laughs> calling for fire, danger close. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, it's all simulated. <laughs> and my lieutenant, he shows up, he's like, man, I burned off my patches on my arm and all the maps. I hope I'm not in trouble. <laughs> it was a little too real. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs>